All right, so the Pixel 3a is here, and how does it stack to the Pixel 3? This is gonna be a weird video, guys. Let's jump in. So with the announcement of the Pixel 3a today, we wanna see if it is wise to pick that up over a Pixel 3. Now, the Pixel 3 retails for $600, 599 and the Pixel 3a retails for uh, $399, so $400. It's a $200 price difference. And what do you get that separates the both devices? Looking at the hardware, very similar in look, design, and style. You've got, of course, the fingerprint sensor at the back, uh, and you've got a single camera, which is the 12 megapixel camera that both uh, devices have, the 3a and the 3. Google says they are both the same camera, so you're getting the same image quality from both device, from both cameras. Now, uh, underneath the hood, this is where you notice the first key difference. The Pixel 3 has a Snapdragon 845 processor, and the Pixel 3a is using the Snapdragon 670 processor. The Snapdragon 845 is, of course, a more powerful processor than the 3a's 670. So if you're looking to do gaming and more intensive functions on your phone, the Pixel 3 has a better processor for it. Now, when we flip over to the front of the device, displays are pretty much the same. You've got a display that um, has a slightly higher PPI on the Pixel 3a over that on the Pixel 3. Both of them are Full HD+. Resolutions are roughly close to the same, but the higher PPI rests on the Pixel 3a. Now, the Pixel 3a's front-facing camera is a single camera, 8 megapixels. Uh, it's one of the cameras you will find on the Pixel 3, which has a dual camera setup. One, of course, is your, your wide-angle camera for those wide-angle selfies, which we all love to take. So that is another difference there. Now, when you move to the bottom of the device, you've got USB Type-C ports, um, and both of them use 18 watt chargers. Now, the Pixel 3 uh, has wireless charging, Pixel 3a does not, but again, that's that $200 difference. When it comes to batteries that are, charged, that are being charged by any of these charging methods, uh, the Pixel 3a has a bigger battery at 3,000 milliamps compared to the 29 15 milliamp battery, so 2,150 milliamp battery on the Pixel 3. Again, 3a has a bigger battery, which again is quite interesting. So you should get slightly better battery performance because you're getting a uh, processor that is not tasking like the 670, and you're also using four gigs of RAM, which both of them use at the same time. I mean, in terms of uh, functions on both devices. Now, they both have stereo speakers, so similar, but the Pixel 3a has a headphone jack on the very top. The Pixel 3 does not have a headphone jack, so that to me is an included benefit. Now, this is why I posed the question, which would you actually buy? It's a $200 difference. We see there are some advantages to having the three, one of that being the fact that you can have um, you know, a wide angle selfie in the front and you've got a Snapdragon E45 processor so your gaming will be better on the Pixel 3 and you have wider selfies. Cameras are the same though, just wider. Now, the Pixel 3a gives you the benefit of longer battery life because it's using the 670 processor and it has a 3000 milliamp battery. Plus, the Pixel 3a has a headphone jack. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out why I should get either. I'm just wondering, should I go with more uh, processing power for gaming, but it's also an older processor than 845, not an 855? Or should I just stay with the 670 and go, hey, it's cheaper and I've got a, a, the same camera? That's the question I would like you guys to give your answers because that's the difference here between the Pixel 3 and the Pixel 3a. If you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Leave your thoughts down below and your reasoning why you picked one or the other. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.